On June 17, 2015, the white supremacist Dylan Roof committed what many would call an unforgivable crime. During a Bible study at Emmanuel African Methodist Episcopal Church in Charleston, South Carolina, he murdered nine black churchgoers. The shooting and the subsequent courtroom events gripped the nation, not only because of the horrific nature of the crime, but also because of the way in which some members of the victim's families responded to Roof. They forgave him. At Roof's first court appearance, Nadine Collier, the daughter of 70-year-old victim Ethel Lance, said, You took something very precious from me. I will never talk to her again. I will never, ever hold her again. But I forgive you. God have mercy on your soul. Anthony Thompson, the husband of slain Myra Thompson, forgave Ruth and implored him to repent and confess. Nathane Middleton Brown, the sister of Reverend DePayne Middleton Doctor, acknowledged her anger in the courtroom but expressed her sister's commitment to love over hate. She taught me that we are the families that love built. We have no room for hate, so we have to forgive. Bethane forgave Ruth, as would Felicia Sanders, the mother of Tawanza Sanders. As Bethane told Ruth at his sentencing in 2017, I wanted to hate you, but my faith tells me no. I wanted to remain angry and bitter, but my view of life won't let me. Despite the slaughter of their family members in a sacred and safe space by a man whom the victims had welcomed, the bereaved found it in their hearts to forgive. Many of us witnessing the case could not imagine that we would do the same. Surely we have withheld forgiveness from people for transgressions far less serious. Even the most pious of bystanders would have understood the family's refusal to forgive. And yet, some resisted hatred and publicly forgave. With resentment and revenge so rampant in Western culture, these forgivers deserve our praise for their unconditional act. Perhaps they could teach us something about forgiveness. Following the courtroom statements, Many editorial columns across the country suggested as much, with headlines like, Hate Won't Win, and How Emmanuel Reveals the Power of Forgiveness. <laughs>